how RFID can help manage your assets better. Well, joining us to speak about that today is McLeod Williamson, RFID Business Development Manager at Zebra Technologies. McLeod, welcome. Thanks, Russell. McLeod, if you would, uh, walk us through what are the benefits that a company could expect from an asset management solution. Really, it's all about visibility. How can I see my assets better and then make better business decisions based on it? And if I can do that, I can reduce my inventory. I might have too many of those assets because it takes me too long to find them when I need them. If I can find them more quickly, I might not need quite as many. Uh, if I can do my job and, and go through our processes more quickly, maybe I sell more product. Maybe I can uh, increase my top line. Maybe I reduce the labor required to manage my assets and go through my processes. So, so really, uh, look at inventory reduction, labor reduction, and increased sales as some of the top benefits for asset management solutions. You know, I like what I'm hearing there. That, uh, that sounds good to me. I'm saving money there. But it, all of a sudden, it occurs to me, maybe there are some specific assets that are really good candidates for this type of, of, uh, of uh, management solution. Maybe there are others not quite so good. So walk us through that, if you would. Sure. A lot of people are going to think, oh, my, my highest cost assets are the ones that I need to manage. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I've got several fork trucks in my manufacturing or distribution facilities. But there are really other characteristics of an asset that are, that are going to require you to, to want to look more closely at them. Maybe it moves a lot. Obviously, a fork truck moves a lot. But there are other assets that move from place to place and may be hard to locate. Um, some may be uh, hard to replace. Uh, we talk about data centers and, and blade servers and data centers. Uh, you know, the, the server itself is probably not all that high of a dollar, but the data on that server is, is sometimes irreplaceable. Or think about specimens in, in a healthcare situation where uh, maybe I've got something from, from phlebotomy and, and I can't, I literally can't replace that. So the better I can manage those assets, um, you know, obviously I can, I can do what I need to do. We've been talking about asset management solutions, and of course at the top of the interview, we, uh, we said that RFID can help us better manage these things. So let's now talk about RFID technology in this context here. What does it do? How is it going to help me do these things in a better manner? Sure. I mentioned before it's all about visibility, right? And so uh, RFID allows you an easier path to visibility. Uh, RFID re does not require a line of sight to an item. Uh, and it can read multiple items at one time. So it really gives you a, a, a bigger net to see uh, where those assets are. And, and also, uh, it allows you to see where those assets are going and how they're moving without really any interaction from the operator. Um, you don't have to stop and scan a barcode. You don't have to stop and check something in. You go about your business, and RFID can just kind of watch that happen and update the system accordingly. I want to talk about, uh, for a moment, about the differences between active and passive RFID and what difference that makes in the, in the context of our conversation here. Sure. So if we talk about passive RFID, it's just that. It's passive. I have a chip on an item that does nothing until it's in a zone. Uh, there's a reader that produces an RF zone, and that RF zone excites or, or, or activates that chip, and it says, here I am and you know what zone that's in because of what reader sees it. Um, and in contrast, an active RFID solution, uh, there's a beacon. So that asset is going to be sending a ping out at a predetermined interval, uh, and multiple location sensors might see that, and then you can actually tell exactly where it is. So in passive, you tend to have uh, a choke point, or I just left this facility, or I just uh, moved from this part to this other part. Whereas active RFID, you might get X, Y, or even Z coordinates. Um, and it really goes to understanding your need for how much visibility, how granular does that visibility need to be. Can I see it, my asset, as it transitions from uh, one facility to another? Or can, do I need to see it all the time and in real time? Can I wait until it's next seen, or do I need to know now? Uh, and do I need to know specifically in an X, Y, or even Z coordinate where it is? So those are the types of decisions that help you understand whether you need passive or active RFID. New technologies that will help uh, in asset management. 
What are they? Identify those for us. Walk us through, uh, through that and, and, just, and, and, and give us some detail as to how it is that they really are going to benefit me in that area. Sure. You know, typically asset management, when you think about it, you're just IDing an asset, right? You're saying, uh, here it is, here's what it is. Uh, you're not learning anything about it. So the two areas of improvement are how can I better identify it uh, and then how can I know more about it? Uh, so there, there's, there are new uh, RFID tags that have better form factors. Uh, that aren't so big, so bulky, so costly, uh, that allow you to identify that product better. But then also uh, things like sensors coming on to uh, the tags themselves. So not only do I know what that item is, I know something about its environment. Uh, I might know what the temperature. I might know there might be an accelerometer on it as well, so I know if it's been dropped. Um, so it, it's not the what are you, but the what are you and the how are you. Mm -hmm. And the more information I have, the more visibility and knowledge I have, again, the better decisions I can make for my business. Well, let's talk about making better decisions. Now, I do not have an asset management solution right now, but I'm really seriously thinking about investing in something like this. I need to know what are the criteria that I have to be aware of, that I've got to evaluate, if I'm going to make an informed decision about this kind of investment. So walk us through that. Is there, is there a laundry list, perhaps, of stuff I need to consider up front? Sure. You know, even the most advanced uh, companies that have very good logistics have pain points. Uh, so it might be where do things slow down, and you know, where's a bottleneck that, that, that requires more uh, intervention and activity than, than otherwise would be needed. Uh, where are errors happening? Um, do I maybe have a, a rework process that I'd like to eliminate? Uh, do I have to expedite things at the end of the month or at the end of the day? Um, so you know, take a look at your processes if you're a company and understand where those pain points are. Where am I touching the, the product? more than I need to, where are those errors happening, and will extra visibility allow me to not have to do that? If so, let's determine what technology is going to give me that right level of visibility, and I got a pretty good candidate for an asset management solution there. Good information about things I didn't know that I need to know about. McLeod, thank you very much for visiting with us today. Thank Thanks, you. Russell. Appreciate it. That's McLeod Williamson, Zebra Technologies. He was walking us through how it is that RFID can help you manage your assets better. Well, thank you for watching.